Good morning. In this lecture, we will study the corn milling. Corn is consumed as human food in many forms. For example, as a vegetable, as a popcorn, and mostly as corn flour. And this corn flour is achieved through two basic ways. Number one, dry milling. And number second is the wet milling. Let us study them one by one. In case of the dry milling, we have to remove this hidden germ part from the grain. We have to first expose this and then we have to remove this. And we have to remove this area of the grain which is known as tip cap. Also, the hull. The outer covering is also removed. So we can say the end product of the dry milling is the endo, endosperm, rather powder, powder of endosperm. But in case of the wet milling, this endosperm is further divided divided into pure starch and pure protein. This is the main difference between the wet milling and dry milling. Dry milling is of two types. Traditional dry milling it is also known as non deserming means we don't remove the germ from through this method second type is the modern milling which is also known as deserming these pictures are the examples of the traditional dry milling of corn in dry in traditional mill whole kernel is converted into powder without removing the germ and the brown so we can say the extraction rate of traditional dry corn milling is 100%. The second dry milling type is modern milling which is also known as deserming method and the most commonly used dry milling Modern dry milling is a tempering, deserming method. It has two objectives to remove all germ and hull and to get the maximum amount of endosperm without any dog specs. These are the various unit operations of modern corn milling. First of all, the grain is cleaned to ensure the quality of the end product and to prevent the damage of the unit operation and different cleaners as you are used suppose magnetic separator distoner uh, sieves etc after cleaning the grains are conditioned the condition conditioning is done either by cold water or hot water or by steam and it is carried out in two or three stages and each stage is followed by tempering. What is actually tempering? It is simply, it means resting. We provide rest to the grains so that the water and the heat gets properly dissipated through the grain uniformly. So, finally, uh, when the moisture is moisture content is reached to 21 to 25 percent, the conditioning is complete. These conditioned grains are then taken to the uh, degerming uh, de section. The purpose of the degerming is to remove the hull, tip cap, and germ as far as uh, practicable and leave the fine endosperm into large grids. However, the products from Dijerma consists of mixture of kernel components freed from each other 
to vary degrees with the endosperm particles varying in size sizes from uh, grits to flower this is a degermer which is known as br degermer br degermer it consists of a rotating cast iron conical uh, roller uh, mounted on a horizontal shaft mounted on a horizontal shaft in a con in a conical cage this hole is a conical cage as you see in this figure <clears throat> part of the cage is fitted with a perforated screen this side it is a per having a perforated screen and the remainder uh, with the plates having the conical projections and it has a conical projections as shown in this figure on it is uh, have a, it has a conical projections on it is uh, inner surface the rotating cone has similar projections uh, over most of its surface this uh, is the feed end and uh, once the grains come inside this chamber they get cutted into pieces and the germ gets uh, released and the size also gets uh, reduced and the product comes through the this screen so after this the products are dried to reduce the moisture content and uh, it is uh, after dried it is uh, cooled and this drying is uh, done by a special dryer known as rotary uh, steam tube dryer the rotary steam tube dryer is a uh, is a circular uh, tub like and in the tub it has the pipes which carries the heating med medium steam and these pipes get heated uh, uh, through the steam and which in turn heats the product and uh, removes the moisture from the product then after drying it uh, the, the the product is milled uh, and sifted it's milled and sifted by uh, by the roll mills are the bur, uh, burstone mill and then it is frac uh, fractionated into various uh, sizes and the brown uh, hull tip cap is removed from here with the help of the sifters then further drying is uh, done if needed to uh, obtain the optimum moisture content which is uh, required for the shelf life and then the product is packed the corn flower product is packed this was all about the dry uh, corn milling now let us study the wet uh, milling of corn in wet milling you uh, i already told you the end products are pure starch and pure protein pure starch and pure protein so we have to remove the germ we have to remove the hull we have to remove the tip, ca tip cap and then once we uh, we will get the endosperm we have to separate uh, the endosperm into pure starch and pure protein so after uh, cleaning the grains the first step uh, uh, in the wet milling is steeping which is a little bit different from that of the conditioning it is a hydrothermal treatment but here the moisture content is increased to a high uh, level which is 45 percent and uh, due to high moisture content the, the grains become soft and then those grains are taken uh, to the, uh, the, the the germ uh, taken for the germ recovery uh, it is uh, done with this uh, equipment as shown in this figure it has a two plates one plate is the stationary plate and the upper palette is uh, 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 ro a rotating palette it has the conical projections which help us to cut the grain and uh, into uh, pieces uh, 
and which helps to expose the germ uh, so after uh, exposing the germ after uh, uh, losing the germ uh, from the grain the uh, the, the whole mass is uh, uh, you know separated from the germ uh, as the germ has uh, different uh, different uh, uh, den density it will float uh, and it can be easily skimmed off uh, uh, from the uh, rest of the material after removing the germ the other uh, slurry part is uh, taken to the uh, boardstone mill where it is further uh, reduced in, in size and after reducing the size uh, as the size of the hull size of the tip cap uh, is different from that of the endosperm uh, particles so uh, and these can be separated through the screens uh, mostly the hexagonal reels are used for this and, and unfortunately the uh, uh, the starch and the proteins cannot be separated through these screens because their size is almost the same but fortunately they have different densities different densities so we have an option to separate them which is centrifugation so uh, by using the centrifugation we can separate two same sized uh, particles uh, into two fractions because they will have two uh, different they will have different densities and centrifugation works on the same principle so finally we will get the uh, pure starch and the pure protein uh, of corn which is known as zine. Then these uh, corn starch have uh, different applications in food industry uh, which can be used for various uh, uh, food processing purposes. Hope you understood this. Thank you for watching.